going to be about flying above 400 feet legally okay so can it be done what are the rules around it everyone's heard about the building one and the structures okay so we're going to cover that first um, so basically if you've got a structure okay you can and it's above 400 feet tall okay as in the example you're going to see shortly okay you you can fly next to it there are certain limitations but let's have a quick look at that i'll see you on the other side of that and then um we will talk about how to actually fly above 400 feet legally and is it possible and i'm going to give you an example and hopefully hopefully everyone will go hmm that's interesting so let's uh, let's look at this first okay right so people have cottoned on about flying over 400 feet now there are a couple of bits about flying over 400 feet and oh we've got a van one second we'll wait for him right so the important bit is if you want to fly above 1000 feet or above 400 feet sorry so this tower in front of me is well over 400 feet okay or well over it's the highest thing in the area um, I'm not sure if you can see on this but it's got all the guide cables now the rule is if you wanted to fly something like near this is within 50 meters of it you have to be okay so you have to be within the 50 meters of the structure okay and and this is the important bit you have to have the owner dash contractors permission okay to even be there if you wanted to fly next to this you would need their permission okay to go above 400 feet so or even be near it okay the thing is this tower is the local telecoms and tv broadcasting for lincolnshire this thing will probably swamp your drone in so many frequencies it's not going to do it any good at all so stay away from tall structures like this unless you have permission only oh we've got a truck one second truck 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 right so the only people that should ever be flying near this at height above 400 feet is a contractor working for the company that looks after the tower doing an inspection okay hobby flyers i'm afraid it's just going to be a no okay and i would hope i would really hope that is common sense there okay but yeah that thing is tall okay it's well above 400 feet and you can see the guide ropes and the drones don't see guide ropes on the anti-collision okay but yeah so you know you've all heard about flying over 400 feet by now i should think yes you can if if the structure owner contractor gives you permission and you're within 50 meters of it you may do so and you can go 15 meters above it only up to 15 meters above it only oh got another car right and that is it okay you cannot do it any other way although 15 meters manned aviation near this at 50 meters i will be shocked okay and i'm not sure if we can see it oh van we have RAF Steny got in the background it's just over there I'm not sure if I can see that or not but there's RAF Steny got and RAF Steny got used to have three massive dishes we should be able to see but they've all been destroyed sadly from the Cold War and the three dishes that were for RAF Steny got used to bounce radio signals off the stratosphere so if there was a Cold War um, so if there was a, a mass nuclear fallout it was the one place in the UK that they could talk to their allies from bizarrely there you go useless fact for the area right so there's our tower anyway right if you watch the video you're going well that's it I can't fly above 400 feet ever um, I'm kippered you've got to remember next to tall structures and going above them that's all to do with with the owner and allowing you the permission to go above it 
Um, and typically, like I say, that'll be commercial operators or operators who work for that company going up and above. Okay. However, can a hobby flyer do it? Yes, you can. So if you only go above 400 feet, we're never going to talk about that. Now, it's not going to be able to be done everywhere. It is going to limit you, yes. I'm sorry. There are some limitations, as with everything. Okay. Now, the important bit to remember is, right, it's 400 feet from the surface. However, it doesn't matter, right, if the surface is flat, so ground levels is flat, or it's a sheer cliff, okay? So to fly above 400 feet, the most simplest way to do it, okay, is to walk somewhere like the Yorkshire Dales or go into the Derbyshire Dales, um, go to a beach where there's a cliff, okay? If you want to fly above 400 feet legally, right, all you have to do, okay, is take off from the top of the cliff or the hill now, 400 feet is 122 meters. It's not 120 like the CA say it is. It's 121.9 or something actually, but you know, it's only two meters. Anyway, so if you're gonna fly 400 feet, okay, above the ground, the best way to do it is to, to walk up a hill. I'm sorry, you're gonna to have to do some exercise. I know, I'm sorry. There should have been a disclaimer. <laughs> you're gonna to have to walk somewhere or drive somewhere where you can do this um, and basically it could be any hill any anything where you're above the val a valley basically you can go 120 meters away from it it's not about the surface that's here okay it's about this surface and this surface so if you fly 122 meters or 120 meters from the surface and you're here it literally can be a thousand feet beneath you okay and the thing is, if you're walking along this, this say this is a, a hill line here, okay, so this is a, as long as you're walking along, right, and as long as you're within 120 metres of your aircraft of that surface, you can literally fly along, okay? And that will get you your flying above 400 feet legally, okay? That's how you do it legally, okay? Yes, it is limiting. Yes, you can't do it in cities. Yes, I know it's not what everyone was hoping for, but the reality is, okay, the, the CA have put, brought in the rules, or DFT, because manned aviation kicked up their little stink, okay, and all the anti-drone propaganda we've, we've been fed for the last 10 years or so, okay, and we've had it rammed down our throats, okay, yet still no one's died, okay, um, in the UK from a, a quadcopter um, or that kind of thing or a multi-rotor you know the fear is it's going to happen so obviously fear 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 and now drones are going to be used for good they're going to be flying over cities they're going to flip the story um, but the problem is they're fed negativity for so long and this is why we're stuck at 400 feet now if you do want to fly legally above 400 feet I do suggest you check out FPV, um, some FPV videos, and maybe look at a fixed wing, because a small light fixed wing will go above 400 feet. They're not necessarily more complicated than drones, um, although people think they are. Um, it's just about takeoff and landing them can be a little bit trickier because you need a bit of space for the approach and for the takeoff. Um, and we'll probably do something on that at some point. We'll probably do like a, you know, how to build a small FPV plane or something, or I'll point you to a channel that, that's really good, that I think is good and you just follow the really basic instructions and you should be all right, okay? But, um, and I'll link, I'll link to one of my FPV channels. So I have my own other channel where I've done FPV flying. Um, I'll link to that, okay? And I think, I think if you're really lucky, he says, I think you'll even see me crash a plane, FPV. <laughs> yes, even I get it wrong, um, which is rather funny. I, I, I clipped a tree. Um, I was being a bit too cocky. When you're cocky, you'll you'll clip something. And that was back in twenty. I'm going to say twenty eleven ish. Twenty ten, twenty eleven. It was just before I got into doing drones commercially and everything. But there's a video, and you'll just see me just see me plant it. <laughs> um, 
But yeah, anyway, so that's how you actually get to fly um, legally above 400 feet, is you take off from the point, the top of a hill, a valley, a cliff, you can fly 120 meters out, okay, and then you can fly, and the ground beneath you would be a thousand feet beneath you, but obviously as long as you're within 120 meters, or 400 feet of a surface, doesn't matter what part of the surface, even if it's a sheer cliff, as long as you can, your aircraft is within 400 feet of it, you're fine. Okay, that's the rule. So, hopefully that was a good bit of information for you. If not, I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I'm afraid nothing's perfect. Right, everyone have a good, uh, good week. Uh, catch you all later, okay? <music>